So you never thought it was okay for a woman to hit a man? Yeah, don't don't hit no man because a man's pride and his soul will get hurt. And he will have to retaliate mm -hmm. just, just to show that he still got his, his cojones. Mm -hmm. Okay. His gonads. So, just don't do it. Exactly, exactly. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, okay, you do, you do know that a lot of sexual allegations are uh, like the new topic for these last couple of months, right? Mm, no, I'm not familiar. Go ahead. Okay, well, okay, like, I was saying, like, you do know a lot of sexual allegations are, um, a lot of women are accusing a lot of men for, like, sexual allegations. Like, like the first the first guy who was uh, uh, accused of sexual allegations was who? Bill Cosby, right? Mm-hmm. And Bill Cosby is kind of still going through it, right? Right. Okay, so... And then um, next, it was uh, Harvey Weinstein, and also you had Louis C.K. Um, you know, Louis C.K., he was a producer, uh, director for the uh, FX uh, original comedy series, Louis, which aired on FX for, uh, I think, seven seasons. And also, you had Kevin Spacey, and um, it's like now you have Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons... They just accused Russell Simmons like last week. So Russell Simmons, he had to step down from all of his companies. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going through it now. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, and, but, wow. just like, but just like I told him, I said, if I said, like, why would he step down? I mean, he must be guilty if he stepped down. But once again, I'm saying allegedly because, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I don't even have no facts or proof on it yet. You know what I'm saying? But we just had word of mouth. But also... Now you just have John Conyers. Um, I think he's a Republican out of uh, Alabama who's on the uh, House of Representatives. You know, he's in Congress. So, once again, why is it that all of these women are accusing these men of sexual allegations? And majority of it probably isn't true. But these men can have their lives destroyed by this particular woman's um, accusations, you know, towards him so explain that it's it's a ruthless situation i'm gonna take i'm gonna give you the the uh, most easiest honest answer i can give you okay and it all stems back to my religion my beliefs it is the end times satan is doing everything he can do to wreak havoc on this earth so it's not by happenstance that all these things are coming up and going forth. It's just wickedness. And it's mm -hmm. just all in your spirit. Right, right. It don't make it right. Because, I exactly. mean, honestly, come down to it, a man could turn around and, 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 and pull a woman upon their thoughts on sexual allegations, immorality, whatever, however. They, but it would make him look like he was he was cheated out of getting with her or he was angry or whatever mm -hmm. I said we, we women I some evil tricks sometimes mm -hmm. okay so let me ask you this Bill Cosby like uh, now you know women are accusing Bill Cosby so why are those women why did those women take several take several amount of years to you know say this about Bill Cosby even though they could be lying why are they kind of like destroying his life why is that easy target mm -hmm. yeah so I mean, right so ba so basically it's like this okay those women they came out after how many years was it 20 40 or 50 years yeah decades decades okay so so let me get this right okay are you following me Yes. Okay, so it's like this. They waited 40 or 50 years to confront this, right? Mm hmm So it's basically like this. If somebody broke in your house, okay? Yeah. If somebody broke in your home and stole all your shit, 
you don't call the police right then. You know what you do? You will wait 50 years later and call the police and say somebody broke into my house. Mm. Did you understand that analogy? I did understand that. Do, do you understand my point? I do. It, so you. that is so. Once again, what they did was absolutely absurd. I don't know why would they do something like that. You know, because at the time frame of what was going on, whether I freely gave up the ass to the man or not, he has become a public figure, a celebrity worth millions. Mm -hmm. So now I'm sitting around and we're talking about. Me and the girlfriends are sitting around doing our little catty chatty. And girl, I done got pissed off because he's, he's you know, making all this money, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then why come I couldn't, why come he couldn't have married me and I couldn't have shared into his wealth? Yeah. Now I'm angry. Right. And girl, no, he didn't. He didn't do that with me. He did me like this right here. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, now because we women are are such manipulators, and then realize the the loopholes in the law, and regardless if it was thirty years, forty years, fifty years down the road, because if I'm looking at it like this, if if I felt that he morally did me wrong coming up, then that's when I should have addressed the situation. Right. Absolutely. You know, you should be waiting to 40, 50 years down the road. But this is also not. Do you remember the first three females that you ever had sex with? Uh, yeah. Remember by the, the name, how old you were, what she had on, and all, any of those minute details. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably one of the very few that could do that. Mm-hmm. But, but you're not very old either, so. Right. Yeah. As she would get in about 30 years, you'd be like, hell no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> right, oh. right, yeah. So, I can say... If, like I said, if I knew the city or, you know, the around about area as to where he might have been during those years ago, mm -hmm. and I jumped on that bandwagon and said, yeah, I, yeah, he did me this way. I ain't never even seen the man in my life. But because I don't wait so long, he can't remember. Mm -hmm. There ain't no proof. Mm -hmm. But I can jump on that bandwagon. Right. 